case control and cohort studies, they're very similar, but case control and cohort studies have got some important differences. They've got strengths, they've got weaknesses. We're gonna talk about that today, so stick with me. So both case control and cohort studies have similar objectives. In other words, they both want to understand the relationship between exposure and outcome. Now, exposures can be good or bad, right? It could be tobacco smoke that you're exposed to at some point in time, or it could be a health intervention or medicine. Over time, that could translate into good or bad outcomes, right? Getting cancer or improving your health outcome, for example. So let's start by talking about case control studies, right? Case control studies start off by collecting cases, people that have some kind of outcome of interest. And interestingly, it can be a rare outcome, which is one of the strengths of case control studies. So we gather together the cases. We also want a group of controls. In other words, people that don't have that outcome. We gather them together as well. And we ask both groups of people about their history. What might they have been exposed to in the past? And we want to know if there's a difference, if their exposure, if their history of exposure is different, and might that explain the difference in outcome that we're seeing today. Now, with respect to these two groups, the cases and controls, we want them to be as similar to each other as possible, with the exception of the fact that they've got a different outcome, right? The cases have an outcome of interest, and the, and the control group doesn't have that outcome of interest. And the reason we want them to be similar is so that we can compare them. Keep in mind that it is difficult if not impossible to guarantee that these two groups are in actual fact similar in every single way except for the fact that they have this different outcome and that's one of the weaknesses of case control studies and we'll talk about that in just a minute and just so that you know this channel is sponsored by nested knowledge that's a platform that supports systematic literature review and meta-analysis they're absolutely amazing check out the link in the description below so let's say for example we identified a very rare kind of cancer and this is actually one of the strengths of case control studies is that you can use them to do a study around a very rare outcome right so let's say that there's a rare kind of cancer there's not many people that have this we can find those people because we can look at hospital records so we can identify that group and we might ask the question uh, and then we create a, a, a control group and we ask the question is there an, a different in their exposure and we look at their histories and we identify that the rare form of cancer that group have almost all of them were smokers and the control group most of them weren't smokers and that provides us with a sense that provides us with evidence of what we call a correlation doesn't mean causation so keep in mind there's a difference between correlation there's a relationship between these two factors the exposure and the outcome but it doesn't necessarily mean that there's a causative relationship and the reason I say that 